Hi there folks, Kirk here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today what I'm going to do is correct this. The only difference is today what I've done with about well, the last 70, 80 of them is sometimes we repair the wood rot. In this case, uh, the fella emailed me this last night and I'm located in Oakland area, uh, area, Alameda, Oakland, Berkeley area. We're actually in Pacifica. Uh, he emailed me this photograph and I thought well man that vent is through so picked up a vent this morning we're gonna put a Lugler type vent this time as opposed to one of these guys this protects the mud sill the rain hits it and slides down where the rain sometimes goes in those types of vents right there I brought some um, 4x4s, 2x6s, a few pieces because we're gonna go ahead and tear this one out and put a uh, fresh one in that's seen better days Anyway, that's, um, that's where we're going with this particular project here. Not going to take much to uh, tie it in on the sides. It'll take me probably longer to pull this guy out here and uh, flash it and counter flash it and stick a new piece of wood in than to do all the cement work, but that's my job for today. Well, fortunately, this mud sill is in great condition. Uh, we just got rid of the vent, took all the stucco off here, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Two by six, I'm looking at what they've done here, and almost every job folks do some different things. And nothing we can't handle, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this rotten piece out and sister another piece in, put my new vent in. When we get to that stage, I'll show you that too. Okay, guys, we're uh, at a stage where Got the new new vent installed, and we actually just took out the rotten bit, which was here, but I had to go to the next joist here. What you want to do, too, is the flashing paper has got to go over this metal flashing. That's, that's real important. And then we're going to caulk under here, where the door meets the paper. Finish paper in the sides and caulk all around the door. We're going to get ready to uh, do the stucco work. I'm not going to tell any of you folks how to do carpentry, because... That's not my field. Uh, I'm licensed for stucco, but I've done many additions and I've done a couple homes myself. But anytime where I come across a window or door or uh, walls that need a little bit of attention, yeah, we do handle it, especially if we're already here doing the stucco work. Okay, guys, last thing for the paper and wire. We take two layers and we slide it under here and we go underneath the existing paper. Right over here, I was able to slide my paper all the way up to here. That's good. We want to do that. And before I get ready to staple and put some new wire here, I'm going to put some Sikaflex polyurethane caulking, just like this. Doing a couple projects on this particular house. This one here, um, I'm showing it because of the vent and the wood rot. But all projects you have to do this to. You have to fuse it including the other side. You don't necessarily have to do the top because we have a Z flashing right here which acts as a water barrier. But since this here was deteriorated when I got here, I'm gonna also stick a flex underneath this guy here too. So next thing is just the, the stucco work and we're gonna get out of here. Okay guys, we're all set with uh, this minor wood rod insta installation of the vent and the uh, float finish. We've done work all around the house, but I just figured I'd key in on this one right here because of the wood rot and the stucco van. Anyhow, this is how we do it as a stucco guy. This is Kirk with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Thank you folks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.